Okay. Down. Good. So we only say the command once. If I'd said down and she ignored me or she didn't do it, don't let her stop and think about it. If she has to think about it for more than two seconds, you need to just reinforce it. You stay calm. You just drop the leash. Your left foot would go up. And that would just make her drop in itself when she saw the foot go up out of the corner of her eye. Keep your back straight. There's no bending over, pointing, snapping of fingers, funny noises. You don't have to do any of that stuff anymore. It's just, let's say she ignored the command, dropped the leash. And then worst case scenario, you have to kind of step on it to apply just a little bit of pressure and she'll go there. That rarely, rarely would happen. So especially once she's comfortable with taking commands from you. Um, but that's what you do. Make sure you don't repeat the command. You just make sure she goes there. It's the pattern that matters. She heard it once, she ended up there. And that's a system that's already in place. And if you do those moves, she'll know what they mean. Stay is not this. <laughs> you, I should not laugh. It's not cute. No. Okay. All I said was N-O. Got her to get up. Put her back. She knows she needs to stay there the right way. I didn't give that cute, and although it was absolutely adorable what she just did, I didn't give it any attention. I, I stayed strictly business. I reset her, put her back. See how simple it is? And now she's settling in. When she settles in and gives up and decides to go with the program, good, she gets a reward. That's the attention you need to give her. Stay is built in to down, so you don't have to say it. She's waiting for the release command. So you can come back to her, stand next to her, say, okay, and she'll get up and walk with you. Okay, come on, let's go, sweetie. There you go.